Hi, it's Mark from Embedded Pro and I'm here for locked down in the UK and starting a new video series. I'm going to be showing you this new OKDo E1 board featuring the LPC 55S69 microcontroller from NXP. It's a remarkable 150 megahertz low power development board. I'll show you the board. Let's take it out of the box here. I got this black box and inside is a little getting started guide and the board. So here it is in an anti-static conductive bag. And here is the tiny little board. Features the LPC55. It's got a, a debugger built in and uh, nothing on the back. Tiny, tiny, tiny little board. So I'm here in Europe. Here is a one euro coin and you can see the board is about the same diameter. So let me show you some neat features of the board. First of all, let's have a close look. We have two 16 by one 0 0.1 pitch uh, headers on this board. So you can solder headers to the board and plug it into your target hardware. But with these castellated solder pads and nothing on the back of the board, it would be possible to surface mount solder this to your target hardware and just bring solder fillets onto these connections. So there's two ways of using this one tiny little board. So let's take a quick look around the hardware. The OKDo E1 board is based around the LPC 55S69 EVK from NXP, so many of the hardware features are copied over. Starting at the top edge, we have these four push buttons, and they're labeled Reset, Watchdog, User, and ISP. They have the same features as we have on the EVK from NXP. The board also features the three color RGB LED that we find on the evaluation board. And we can see that just here on the PCB. Two USB sockets, these are micro USB. And here is the USB user connector. And that can be full speed or high speed, depending on the fitting of some resistors. And this one here is the debugger interface. It's also a virtual COM port available on that. It's a SimSys DAP compatible debugger. There's a built-in 32 kilohertz crystal just here on the PCB. And in my opinion, the only thing missing is a 16 megahertz crystal. There is a land pattern for it on the PCB, but it's not been fitted. I'll explain the implications of that in my next video. So here we have it, it's the OKDo E1 board featuring the NXP LPC 55S69 microcontroller. It's running at 150 megahertz and there are two Cortex M33 cores on this microcontroller. In my last little video series, I looked at the LPC 55S16 microcontroller. That's very much the baby brother of this part. That one has 256K of flash and a single core, but everything that we've learned about the LPC 55S16 is applicable to uh, this one as well. I'm pretty excited about this powerful microcontroller on this tiny evaluation board. Over the next few weeks, I'm gonna show you a video series about what I'm doing with the board, and I'll show you how to use the E1 board from OKDo. And here is my hacked together weather station based around the OKDo E1 board and an e-ink display. And I'll talk more about this and running it from a battery over the next few weeks. Stay tuned, I'll see you next time. Goodbye. And if you enjoy these videos, then please share them, like them, and subscribe to my YouTube channel.